Hi guys, it's Beth here today, and I am going to use the Lawn Fawn Magic Spring Messages stamp set and then the coordinating die set to create six different cards from this one stamp set. And the stamp set is available in the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I hope you enjoy the cards that the set of cards that I'm going to be making. Okay, so for my first card, I am using the Deconstructed Sketch, number 129, and I'm going with the Happy Graduation sentiment, and I'm just using two shades of my gray colored pencils from the Hippie Crafter to color in just some of the little details on the sentiment, just to add a little extra to the sentiment. And these little details are so small that I'm just doing basic coloring, nothing super fancy. So I've rounded the bottom corners of my pattern paper piece and these are all of my cards today are just from random papers from my stash. I was looking through and I found these three papers. There's like a solid gray, this pattern that has kind of like believe and dream and success, like kind of graduation type positive words. And then there was the star pattern and it made me think of graduation. So I had pulled these out to use for the graduation cards. And I did back my sentiment on just another circle of that lighter gray, just slightly bigger than the sentiment. Card number two is my favorite things, sketch number 346. And these are just some blue plaids, again, kind of screamed Father's Day to me. So here I'm using two, what, well, it's a dark shade of blue and then kind of a bluish gray pencil. And I'm just coloring in the word fathers. And then again, a few of those little kind of extra sparkle details or whatever. Again, just really simple coloring because I had to, I had to even put my reading glasses on <laughs> in order to be able to make sure I colored in those tiny little spots. They're so tiny. So again, I'm going to pull out my corner rounder and round all four corners of my plaid and add that directly to my card base. All of my card bases are A2. So they are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to add the other striped piece kind of to the left. And then my sentiment, I did back it on another stitch circle that was a little bit bigger than my sentiment. Card number three already is Sweet Sunday, sketch number 220. And I had pulled out like a pink, green, turquoise, and yellow that kind of went with the paper I'm going to be using. So I I'm coloring up my Happy Easter sentiment along with some of the eggs that were on the stamp set. And I love that the coordinating die set also cuts out some of the extra little images. And I am using sketches just because I like sketches. I like the jumping off point that they give me. I don't always follow them exactly, but I like how they give me a starting point. And, you know, when you're making a set of cards, it's just... It makes it easier for me, otherwise I will deliberate forever. So I'm just kind of randomly adding my colors on the eggs, and then I did my flowers on the sentiment pink, and then did the petal or the leaves in green, and then just adding in some turquoise and yellow details as well. I had fun coloring in these cute little eggs I think the colors together are very springy, very happy. And then just adding kind of a yellow center to the flowers for a finishing touch and then adding off, adding yellow to the eggs. So these were just some Easter papers that I had in my stash. And then I'm going to use that bunny paper as the focal point. And then the back side of the multicolored polka dot is like this green polka dot tone on tone. So I decided to just use that side for that strip at the bottom. Adding this to my card base and then can add all of my colored pieces. So I'm gonna line up the eggs kind of along that green strip there. 
And I just thought they looked better with the polka dot in the middle and then the stripes on the outside. So I get that down and card number four is finished. Just happy, cheery, and easy. Card number five. Are we on card number five? Nope, maybe this is card number four. This is card number four, sorry. Reverse confetti, sketch number 25. This is uh, the spring sentiment. Again, going in with pink on the flower. And this one I did because it was looked like a layered flower, like there were like two layers of petals. I did do a little bit of like darker coloring on the petals that would be like towards the back. So that was about as detailed as I got coloring up these little images. So this little flower cut out too is the same where it looks like it's got two layers of petals. And so I just did the same thing, like lighter petals towards the front or towards the top and then the darker ones in the back. Still super quick coloring. So with this one though, I went with kind of a darker yellow just because in that plaid pattern there, it was like a more like golden sun yellow instead of a pastel yellow. So I colored in my sentiment with yellow and some of the other little flowers and now just adding the leaves with the green. <clears throat> and now we are ready to put this card together. So I just did a square of that plaid pattern on top of the, the white pink and white polka dot and thought that this green strip from the previous card also worked well with the green in this one so I went ahead and used up that scrap and then I felt that the green kind of needed to carry up so once I add on my sentiment and the flowers I'm going to add in this tiny little fishtail banner up at the very top just because I felt like I needed to carry the green all the way up to balance it out now I can add my sentiment down and the flower details and now this is card number four and it is done number five i am using another mft sketch number 352 and i'm using the best wishes which i think could be birthday or wedding or graduation i feel like this sentiment has the most flexibility and how it's used. I'm choosing to use it as a wedding card. I pulled out some papers from Hobby Lobby that all coordinated with each other and that strip with the words on it actually talks about love. So between that strip and the floral to me I'm taking this like more of a, a giving it a wedding twist. So I had found a goldish color in my colored pencils and colored up the word best with that golden color and now I'm coming in with my gold wink of Stella and adding kind of like a darker bronzy gold to the other kind of, I don't know, floral burst details. I don't know what you want to call it. And then I'm taking my clear wink of Stella and going over the word best just so it has some sparkle and dimension too. I'm adding down the strip first onto the card mat and then I'm going to back that floral paper on some white cardstock just to help it stand out against the almost tone on tone colors going on there. And then once I put my sentiment on, I'm pulling out some scrap cardstock from my stash and adding it to the left side of the sentiment because it hangs off of that floral piece there and just so it kind of lays flat, I'm just adding that little scrap to the back. And then add that down to my card. Card number five is now done. And for my sixth and final card, we are using another MFT sketch, number 233, and this is Mother's Day. So when I was looking for colors in my pencil set that coordinated with all the patterns I knew I wanted to use for today's cards, I couldn't find a pink like that medium, 
pink to really match the flowers on that floral pattern. And so I found like a deeper shade of that color and thought I could use that as the base and then come in and kind of lighten it up a little bit with another color. So to lighten it up, I'm actually going to bring in a peach. And I think that does kind of give it a lighter shade and smooths it out, evens out the color a little bit. So it's like the darker of the peach tones that are in my pencil set. So just going over all of those accents again. And then for the leaves on this one, I'm bringing in more of an olive green and that's just again to match the green in my paper. So I remembered I had also stamped and punched out a flower for this one. And so I'm doing the same thing with the pinks on the flower. And then I just used like a turquoise for the center. And to be honest, it would have been so much easier to color these little bitty flowers and eggs in before I had die cut them out. But I went through and had stamped out like the whole stamp set on my Misty a couple times and kind of did it all in advance and then got them all die cut at the same time, just because at the time I hadn't started planning out the cards. So hindsight, it would be best to color the flowers before they were die cut, but it all worked out okay. So adding everything to my card base and then I'm gonna add my green strip down. And I decided that again, because it was a thicker piece of green cardstock for that strip, I didn't want my sentiment to kind of be lopsided or wonky and so I just took another scrap paper, die cut a, or punched a circle slightly smaller than my sentiment piece to go on the back just to give it more strength. Okay, here are the six cards that I made today using the Lawn Fawn Magic Spring Messages stamp set and the coordinating die set. I will have the not too shabby link in the description box below and I will also have the card sketches linked in the description box below. But I thank you guys so very much for your time and hope you all have a very crafty day.